Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 and our Hardcore Rags to Riches series here at Somerset Farms. Here we are for episode number 12, I think we're up to. Um, so, we went back and had breakfast with Mike. Um, he said that the farm, the farmer, the fuel station owner had called. Um, and we need to get a hold of him as soon as we can. So we did. We rang him up. Um, he said he's been given permission to cut down both sides um, of the field, or the well, at least his yard here, of trees. Um, and asked us how much it would cost. I said 2000 per tree um, if we cut them down. He said he had someone to take care of um, getting rid of the tree. We just had to cut it down, you know, deep branch it, cut it up into manageable pieces, and then they would take it, get rid of it, and dispose of it. Um, so I said about 2000 per tree, worked out to be 28000 He said, yep, sweet, that's probably a lot less than he was told by other people. So we got that taken care of for him. Um, all the trees are gone. He said he was happy to leave this tree here um, as part of the the um, hedge here. Um, potentially we could come through and trim it down, he said, later on, but it depends on what he wants to build on this side. Potentially cut this branch off here and this little branch here and see what happens. But he said he's just had the uh, wash plant delivered, as you can see. Um, it's not working at the moment yet. He's just had it delivered, thrown down on some gravel um, and he's just asked us to, if we can, come through, have a bit of a look, um, see if we could do anything with um, running down some dirt or some gravel or something or some asphalt. Just to give him like a path in, a path out. He said he probably wants people to come in this end. So come in this way, drive through, wash their car, wash their tractor, truck, whatever it may be. It's probably just going to be a car and tractor wash on this side because there's not a lot of room um, and then come back out this way and around the front. Um, the fee for using that I'm not quite sure yet he said he has a fee in mind he just needs to work out um, the final costs of obviously you know the water the soap all that sort of stuff before he can start charging people the right amount of money and then he said potentially this side you could put in another one of these wash bays depending on how well this does but for you know semi trailers um, the cement trucks that we see driving around all the time and you know tractors with you know attachments and that sort of stuff but not quite sure what he wants to do yet he said we can still come through and mow this area um, and around here for now um, while there's still grass to be cut um, and use it as we please um, that's part of the agreement we had from before I just come through keep it nice and tidy we can take the grass away and sell it do whatever we want with it um, but yeah we got that done for him. 28,000 we made out of that. Uh, we also made a little bit of money from those trees that we'd cut down. I think we made about, oh, what was five trees? I think they were about four and a half grand each when we sold them five grand, so about 20, 25 grand out of that. So, you know, we made a decent amount of money. We made well over 50 grand, 55 grand just for one day's work, which is really, really good. Um, so, back here at Mike's house, not a lot going on. Our tractor is all the way down here. So we're going to have to run down and jump in it. And um, I do have um, a stump grinder that I've leased from the shop. He said it's around about $255 um, to lease as it is. And then per day it's obviously going to cost us a little bit more if we want to keep it longer than just one day. I said it should only take me you know, an hour or two or something to get five stumps cut and then we can um, leave it over here. He said he'll come back and pick it up. He's got to come back through here anyway and visit this sheep farm over this side here. Um, he's potentially looking at purchasing that sheep farm for his son. He's not quite sure yet but he's going to come and have a look. He said he can come back and grab the stump grinder later today so plenty of time. This is still growing. It's fertilized stage one. Um, it needs lime but there's really not much we can do, I don't think. If we have a look at the growth. I don't think it's... Is that stage two? That's stage one. That's stage four, obviously. So stage one, stage two. I think it's like stage two in growth. It's hard to tell. We don't have one of those things that we... Fancy machines that most people have, the modern farmers, to, to check the ground and see what the soil's like, so... Alright, we've got a stump right here. Let's get rid of this stump. Get these guys cut out of the way so we can make room for 
expanding our field. I don't know if we're going to be able to cut that. I don't think we can. Look, actually, I did have a bit of a spot there somewhere. There we go. Bit of finesse gets the job done. So we've got these three stumps here, and there's another one over there we need to take care of. And then we should be finished. As I said, it's not going to take us long. I told him about half an hour or so, then um, we'll be good to go. He said just to leave it over by the sheep farm over here somewhere, and he'll come and pick it up, take it back, and take care of it for us. Won't charge us any extra for him picking it up. Not bringing it back, which is mighty nice of him. Saves us a long trip. All right, so stop number three. Let's get rid of this. Come on. Take a quick screenshot. There we go. Use it as our thumbnail, of course. Uh, where is it? There's a little bit just here somewhere. It's hard to get these little bits. I just throw it over in the bush here. No one will know it's there except for us. Alright, let's back back and get this bit. I said I want to come through and expand this field. I'm hoping we can get that done this episode. Expand this field a little bit. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to do. Come on. This is a stubborn tree stump, this one. Just a tiny little bit, this doesn't want to... doesn't want to die. Alright, can we... yeah, we think we'll just get rid of this bit, with the other bit. We'll just throw it over here. Get it out of the way. Alright, let's back back up here. There's another stump up here somewhere. I said five trees. I think a, three of the trees were worth about five and a half grand each. And I think the, the other two were only worth about four and a half. So, still, you know, extra money. We've nearly got enough money now to buy another field. Which, um,. I think we do. If we go here, yeah, we've got enough to buy either one of these two. Um, yeah, that field hasn't got anything on it yet, but come on. Stump grinder's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's meant to be grinding the stumps away, but it doesn't want to grind this one away. It's called a stump grinder for a reason. There we go. Alright, so we'll head on over and drop this off. Whoop. Drop this off over. We said over near the sheep pen. I think we might just drop it off over here near this old rusted trailer. You did say near near the trailer or something, I think you said. There's a skip, oh, unless you said the bin. I can't remember if you said bin or trailer. I don't know. We'll just drop it off here and let him know it's ready to be picked up when he wants to pick it up later on today. I think we'll head back now and um, grab our cultivator. There's no point in buying any of this land at the moment because we don't have a cedar yet. Um, that's something we're going to buy, but we don't need to buy it right now, so I'm not going to buy it right now. Um, the rain didn't stop that long ago, that's why there's still a bit of water down here, obviously. That might be one of those spots that the water never goes away from. Um, yeah, we don't really have enough money for a cedar just yet. If we have a look through... Um, where are we? The catalogue. About ten grand. Five and a half. Let's go five and a half grand. So we've got enough money. We're just... Yeah, I'm just a bit reluctant to buy it just yet. Uh, this field here... It's ready to go to be planted, but at the moment, 
it's really not anything we can plant until until next year I suppose unless we want to plant grass or something so better off just keeping the money in our pocket and um, doing what we can I well, haven't had a look at contracts yet today or well, this afternoon I should say we did a couple this morning uh, but I haven't had a look at the contracts yet this afternoon if anything news popped up if anybody needs anything done there might be some harvesting stuff to be done or something I'm not sure I doubt there'll be much fertilizing going on at this time of the day um, uh, what are we gonna do here are we gonna let's take a quick look at the map and look at the grass is it ready to cut it is maybe we should go and cut the grass first because that's obviously you can obviously use that you know it's gonna it's gonna be able to be put into one of the, the storage spaces over at the BGA so we can turn it into silage um, you guys know we've already spoken to him he said he's more than happy to allow us to use it use his bins over there he hasn't really got a lot of work on this year um, and yeah as long as we tidy up after ourselves he's more than happy and obviously he's gonna buy the silage from us because then he turns it into digestate which he sells to other people so it's not like he's losing out on any money or anything so it's just yeah he's certainly gonna make money back all right we'll head down and get this mode we really need a faster tractor. This 25 kilometers an hour is just not cutting it for me. It's really, really bloody slow. But right, we're going to have to move our sprayer as well. I don't know how far we actually own. Probably right to this fence line. There we go. We'll get this bit done. It's going to be nice and wet because obviously it's rained not that long ago. should be able to cut a fair amount of this grass we really need to look at getting another another mower too, something a bit wider than this because this um, is a little bit painful as you guys know it takes quite some bloody time to get things mowed All right, let's work out where we're going to have our cutoff point sort of head back this way but we need to fill in cut this whole area down before we head too far away save so just coming back down again to cut it so I'm probably not going to get a great deal of grass out of this but you know it's going to be more money in our pocket when we turn it into silage so we really can't I can't complain to be too picky Make sure we get right next to this hedge. Try and get as much grass as we can. Get through this little wet spot here. All right, I'm gonna drop that off for a second because we're gonna need to move our. Um... It's alright, we're not killing the crop. We're gonna have to move our sprayer out of the way. We might stick it in over there. Actually, let's stick it in this field over here because we know it's already withered away the farmer obviously had plans and has not done anything with it whether he's he's you know ended up sick or something I'm not quite sure right let's head and grab our mower and we'll head around and get this cut I think we're probably better off waiting until um, we've harvested this field before we get the cultivator out because we're obviously going to have to cultivate up through here a little bit and we don't want to end up um, cultivating part of the crop that hasn't grown yet so I think if we just wait till after we've harvested it's probably going to be the way to go let's try and get right back in this corner 
Probably not going to be able to collect all this grass with the windrower and the loading wagon and stuff, but we'll try and get as much as we can. Watch out for that tree, watch out for the brick fence there. Might back back here and get this bit cut. Seems pointless to leave it behind, we don't need to do another lap around there, so... Alright, there we go. Let's try and get as much of this grass as we can. Might have a talk to Mike and see if he knows anyone that's selling any more mowing equipment. We just need something a little bit wider than this. It's I mean, it's, it's done the job for what we've used it for so far, but it's really not going to hack it for too much longer, especially if we end up, you know, making one of our fields a grass field. It's just not going to cut it, pardon the pun, but it's really not. Alright, we've got plenty to cut through here. Try and just run alongside our previous cut and we should, shouldn't have to come back and touch anything up. So coming through here with a cultivator to extend this field is obviously what we need to do but if we do it now I think it's that wide that potentially we could start to destroy our crop. Our crop hasn't grown to the next stage yet, so we need to get some more fertilisation on it. It's only in stage one. I don't know if we're going to get enough fertilisation on it to get it to stage three before it's ready to harvest, but we certainly need to do our best and try and make sure it's the best quality crop we can get so we can try and get the highest, highest amount of money for it. I mean, oats are pretty valuable as it is, but we want to make sure we get Top dollar. I didn't actually realise how um, valuable oats were in this area because a lot of you know horse horse trainers around, um, you know, equestrian people in the local area in Somerset and also surrounding areas, so they really like the good high quality oats. We can make sure we get them the top quality stuff. They're going to be pretty happy with us and probably ask us to get some more next year. So obviously we had um, breakfast with Mike, organised that contract down at the uh, petrol station down there, the fuel station. Um, told him we purchased our first bit of land and um, he was pretty excited for us. He's certainly bummed that we didn't buy his land yet. He, he said he's run out of drinking money, we need to hurry up and buy it. I think he's got plenty of money, I think he's just putting pressure on me. But um, We told him we just couldn't really afford his property just yet, but... Hopefully some stage next year we'll be able to pick it up. Depending on the price. You know, the, the value might change between now and next year. It might go up, it might go down. So we're gonna have to just wait and see what happens, but I said he's certainly happy for us, he's excited to see what we do with, with the land we've got. He knows the field that we brought. Obviously he's been farming this area for quite a quite a while. Um, I told him I was looking at expanding the field a little bit. He said you're probably not going to get a great amount of expansion out of it, which is pretty much what I thought anyway. But you know, it's going to be going to be better than nothing. We're just going to come back through with our cultivator and rip up the ground through here and extend the field and try and get as close to the road as we can, get as close to the fence as we can without you know having too much of a drama when we come back through to harvest certainly gonna gonna increase probably you know give us another third size of our field at the moment so you know that's an extra third income despite extending our field so it'd be pretty silly if we didn't extend it instead of just leaving you know empty grass here I mean we do make money out of grass but the crop is where the money's at so there we go, that's that pretty much done. Just got to go back and grab our 
windrower and come back. So I know I've been doing a little bit of time lapse stuff for you guys early on in this series. It's been pretty good. Some people like it, some people don't. So I guess what I'm going to do is just play it by play it by ear each episode. Like at the moment, we didn't do time lapse last episode. This episode, I probably won't do time lapse either. Um, we'll just come back, get this grass windrowed. Um, hopefully, try and get it collected on camera, which is probably not likely. We've got to drive a fair way to pick up our trailer. I think our trailer's still down at the BGA. If I have a look, it should still be down. Actually, no, maybe it's not. Which I don't know where our trailer is. Pretty sure we didn't sell it, or did we sell it? We shouldn't have. Then again, I may have. No, it's somewhere. It's not over here, or is it? Oh, I can't see it over here, so I don't know where I put it. It might be down at the BGA somewhere. What do we take it down for a service? No, it's not there. Oh, there it is. It is down at the BGA. Couldn't remember if I took it in for a service or if I just left it down where the BGA was, so. Alright, drop our mower off. Pick up our windrower. So there's our cultivator. I'm pretty sure we can cultivate without dropping the sides down anyway, but I still think it's really not worth the risk. Um, I'm just wondering if I could actually tilt the windrower in or out, but it doesn't look like we can. So yeah, I don't think it's worth the risk of us actually coming through and trying to extend our field and potentially damaging some of that crop. Really don't want to do that at all. But still stage 2 fertilisation, we still need to get two more stages. Stage 1 fertilisation, stage 2 growth. We still need two more stages of fertilisation on it. Um, as I said, I don't know if we can get it done. Sort of just going to have to play it by ear. We've at least got one stage, which is going to help a fair bit. Just not sure about the other stages just yet, so... Right, so what I want to do is go around the outside. And bring it away from the away from the, um, what do you call it, in the hedge, bring it towards the middle if we can. I don't want to have to drive through the hedge to try and pick it up. But we're sort of bringing it out into the field now, aren't we, which isn't good either. But it should work out okay, I hope. Alright, let's turn it off there. Certainly a little tight working area here in Somerset. I do enjoy working in the um, smaller fields, smaller smaller villages and that sort of stuff, but it's really tight with all these hedges and stuff around. Should be able to just do one run down this brick fence. Or the stone fence, I should say. And bring everything into the one pile. Then we'll head up here and we'll pull it away from pull it away from the other hedge on that side. So we can hopefully pick it up pretty easily. It's not gonna rain the rest of the day or tomorrow by the looks of it. Tomorrow is supposed to be sunny. Still reasonably cool temperatures, but sunny. Alright, bring this bit away from the tree. Go try and back to the start there. So we're not going to get all of it. As long as we get most of it, we'll be pretty happy. So it should just be one run along here, and we can do another run the other way. I think we're going to have to go up and 
best thing to probably do now is to, knowing that the tractor's not damaging the crops at the moment, probably should go up and pull it away from the field. Um, potentially, as I said, these tyres might be okay for the current state of the crop, but the tyres on our loading wagon might damage the field, so might need to just bring it away. Bring it away from the field, not too much, just a little bit so we can sort of drive down and around the field. Just bring it over a, a little tiny bit. I think if we run sort of just down the edge of the field. Yeah, like this, should be pretty good. Still want to be able to pick it up with the loading wagon, but we don't want to have to drive over the crop. Alright, there we go, that should be good. Now we'll follow the field up this way. It's probably going to get dark early again today. It was took a while for the sun to come up this morning. In yesterday's, well, well, our last episode, I guess. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take for the sun to start going down, but it probably won't take too long. Oh, wrong button. Okay, run right alongside the last windrow that we did. Should be able to bring that other wind row together. All right, let's come down this way and just swing around and try and bring that together a little bit better. Not that you can see through the tree, but a bit easier for us to pick it all up, I hope. Alright, and then we can run down this way and just bring two rows together just to make it so we can collect it a little bit quicker if I manage to follow the right path it's probably going to be a good idea all right there we go we'll head back this way Alright, we're sort of running out of running out of grass to move around now. We nearly got it done, which is good. So what I might do is um, once we get this all raked up, ready to harvest, I might um, end the episode. I might head up and grab the loading wagon, get that collected off camera, um, come back next episode, and um, hopefully we can start to fertilise a little bit more with this field, and hopefully we can maybe pick up some more contracts or something and bring in a little bit more money. We're still still sort of need to bring in just a little bit of cash. But um, right there guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. If you want to see it continue, only 12 episodes in. So hopefully we'll be around for a fair while longer yet with this series. But you guys let me know. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruto, thanks for watching. See you again soon.